Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Let's go to CVS together and do some amazing digital coupon deals. I'm not using any paper coupons from any inserts. I'm using one printable coupon, which anyone can print. And I have a really good $10 challenge for you guys this week. Gonna be grabbing $33 worth of products for less than $10 out of pocket. So I'm gonna share with you the deals, the breakdowns, the checkout process, everything to make it as easy as possible for you to have the confidence, go to CVS and do these amazing deals. There's also an all digital deal on laundry products this week to grab laundry products like this large Tide for $3.99 each. And I'm gonna be using a 15 off 75 purchase CRT. So if you have one of those, stay tuned for an incredible deal. If you're new to my channel, take a second, hit that red subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a part of the channel. And that way you don't miss out on any easy deals going on every single week. I'm also doing a giveaway in this video, so stay tuned. It's my birthday week, so I'm gonna be doing a giveaway in this video and a big giveaway in my Facebook group, Easy Couponing for Everyone. So I'm gonna post the giveaway tomorrow in that group. So make sure that you guys request access so you can join. It's completely free to join. You can either search for the Facebook group on Facebook or the link will be right below in the um, description box. That way you guys can request to join and I can let you guys in. There is a printable breakdown in the description box as well, so definitely check that out. And stay tuned, I'll let you know how to enter in the giveaway for the $25 CVS gift card in this video a little bit later on. Let's pop into CVS and start scoring some amazing digital coupon deals. So let's get started with our $10 challenge for this week. If you need some hair color, here's a really good deal that you can do. The Clairol are buy two, get a $4 extra buck and they're $8.99. I could have sworn they used to be $9.59. Down, oh, okay, down here they're $9.59, but I'm gonna get some of the nice and easy and some root touch up. Then we have a six off two printable coupon from the coupons.com website, or there's a six off two digital coupon that you can clip and send to your card as well. So this is gonna be one of the products in our first transaction. The next deal we're gonna grab is on Tresemme. So this week they are regularly priced. The cheapest one included that I'm gonna grab is the Extra Hold Hairspray. They're buy two, get a $5 extra buck. Now there's no manufacturer coupons that I know of. So you're gonna pay the $11.98, then you're gonna get back the $5 extra buck and submit to Ibotta for $2.50 cash back per bottle. Gives you $5 cash back, makes your final cost 99 cents a piece. And this is gonna be in our $10 challenge as well, so that's not actually what we're gonna be spending out of pocket. So I'm gonna grab two of these. Then what you're gonna do is grab the Kotex deal. So any you buy Kotex are buy one, get one half off, buy two, get a $2 extra buck. So the cheapest ones are gonna be these security liners. So if you grab two, you'll be at $2.68. Another one that's really cheap are these barely there liners in this tiny little thing. You could always put this in your purse or in your car or something. So grab whichever ones work best for you. There are no coupons at work with those sizes. So you will pay for these, the 268 out of pocket. Then you'll get back the $2 extra buck. Makes your final cost 34 cents per pack, which is a really great deal. Come here. So let's go over your first transaction. You're gonna hand them all four of these products. You type in your phone number. They're gonna scan the products. You're gonna hand them the six off two Clairol um, paper coupon. Then they're gonna hit total and the digital coupons are gonna come off. And the six off two digital for the Clairol will come off as well. You'll wind up paying 866 plus taxes out of pocket. Then you're gonna get back a $4 extra buck and a $2 extra buck that you're gonna use on your second transaction. For your second transaction, you're just grabbing the Tresemme deal. So there are no coupons for this, so your total is $11.98. You're gonna hand the cashier these $6 in extra bucks from your first transaction. They're gonna scan those and hit total. You'll wind up paying $5.98 plus taxes out of pocket. But then you're submitting over to the Ibotta rebate app for $5 cash back. And if you're new to Ibotta, go to the link below in the description box, or you can use this code Q-M-E-H-S-B-F, and you'll get a $5 bonus when you submit your first receipt. So if you're not new to Ibotta, if you've been using it for a while like me, that'll make your final cash cost for these two just 98 cents plus taxes. So for our $10 challenge this week, you paid $8.66 plus $5.98, but then you got back $5 cash. Makes your final cost $9.64 for all six products. 
and you're still going to get back the extra bucks for the Tresemme deal as well that you can use in your next transaction, either the same day or next week, doesn't matter. Let me know in the comments below what deals you end up doing for your $10 challenge. And if you enjoy these, make sure you take a second and smash that like button for me. Another easy all digital hair care deal you can do is on Love Beauty and Planet. So they are two for $13, buy two, get a $2 extra buck. Everyone should have this four off two digital coupon. You'll pay $9 out of pocket or you can pay with extra bucks. Then you'll get back the $2 extra buck for buying two of them. Makes your final cost $7 for two bottles or $3.50 a piece. If you need nail polish, here is a great deal this week. Sally Hansen is spend 12, get a $3 extra buck. So the best thing to do is to grab the Insta Dry. I actually really like this one. Um, grab two of them. That'll bring you to $14.58. Everyone should have this $3 off any Sally Hansen uh, mystery coupon for this week. So you'll pay $11.58, get back the $3 extra buck, makes it $8.58 for two. Or what you could do is just grab one for $7.29, use that $3 mystery coupon. You guys can also submit to Ibotta for a dollar cash back each. So at CVS, if you're buying one, your final cost is going to be $3.29. I have a big moneymaker deal on Colgate this week, so stay with me. There's two different deals that we're going to be doing. One of them is the buy two, get a $5 extra buck. So I'm going to grab one of these Colgate total at $5.99. Then I'm going to grab one of these Optic Renewal for $9.99. Now there's two different digital coupons, a $3 off one for this and a $3 off one for the Colgate total. I also have this $10 off one CRT that was emailed to me last week. Always make sure you guys are checking your emails that you have registered with CVS. That's where they send a lot of extra really good coupons. So the $10 coupon applies to this Colgate Optic White Renewal. Then if you have a three off 18 Colgate CRT, you could use that as well. Now I'm gonna be putting this in with a 15 off 75 CRT. So I personally will not be using the three off 18, but the math using that is gonna be below in the printable breakdown as well. Then I'm also gonna be doing the spend 12, get a $5 extra buck deal. So I'm gonna grab one of these Colgate toothbrushes for $5.99. And one of these Colgate Enamel Health is actually in the wrong spot. It should be over here at $6.29. So for these two, there is a 50 cent off one digital and a $3 off one digital that'll work on the mouthwash. So total for all four of these products is gonna be $28.26. If you have um, like a five off 20 Colgate CRT or any other Colgate CRT, you can definitely use it. So let me give you the math using the three off 18 Colgate CRT that I have. So again, total is $28.26. Then with all of the coupons, we have a three, a three, a 50 cent, a three, plus a $10 CRT, plus the three off 18 Colgate CRT. That'll leave you to pay $5.76 out of pocket. And yes, you can pay with extra bucks. Then you're gonna get back a $5 extra buck for buying two of these and a $5 extra buck for spending 12 on these. Gives you $10 back in extra bucks. Makes it free and a $4.24 moneymaker. Another oral care deal I'm gonna do is the Crest deal. So they're buy three, get a $5 extra buck. The cheapest toothpaste I found is $4.49. So I'm gonna grab three of these. We have a five off three digital coupon, and then I have a dollar off one digital, which should glitch and come off together. That'll leave me to pay $7.47, get back a $5 extra buck, makes it $2.47 for three tubes of toothpaste. And I'm gonna be adding this in with my 15 off 75 CRT as well. This week, we have a pretty great deal on laundry products. So they are spend 30, get a $10 extra buck. Of course, there's multiple ways to do it. I'm going to be grabbing products that my clients are needing from reselling. So you can either grab one of the Tide Pods at $13.49. What I'm going to do is grab a Tide Liquid at $14.99. We do have a $3 digital coupon for the liquid, or we have a $3 digital for the Tide Pods. Then you're gonna grab one gain flings at $5.49, clip the dollar off one digital coupon. I'm also grabbing a gain liquid at $5.49. I have a separate dollar off one digital coupon. Then I'm gonna come over here and grab one of these Unstoppables. It's the 7.8 ounce is $6.99 on sale. And we have a $2 digital coupon that says it works with the 7.8 to 8.6 ounce 
or 8.4 ounce ones. So it should work on this. Now my CVS app has still been having the worst issues. I can't scan anything on the app. When I search for a coupon, if there's multiple different coupons, it layers them all on top of each other so I can't see. So what I've been having to do is going to my browser, going to cvs.com and then searching through deals and rewards and stuff that way. So it's definitely been a pain in the butt. I keep hoping they're gonna fix it, but I haven't had any luck yet. So let me know in the comments if you guys are still running into these issues too. So these are the four products that I'm gonna grab. Total is $32.96. Then we have $7 in digital coupons. I'll pay $25.96. You can pay with extra bucks to lower your cost. In fact, I recommend it. Then you're gonna get back the $10 extra buck, makes it $15.96 for four products or $3.99 a piece. Now, I don't think that's a bad deal, especially when we're grabbing a huge one and I'm out of this in my stockpile, pretty close to being out of these as well. So I need to stock up on these. Another deal anyone can do that I'm super excited about is the Maybelline Baby Lips. This is one of my absolute favorite lip products. It just, it's like butter and it's amazing. So it's $4.79. I'm going to grab one of these. Everyone should have this $4 CRT this week. It's going to make it 79 cents. Now I scanned it and it is actually working on the CVS app. So when I scan on the CVS app for mine, for some reason, it'll only show me CRTs that attach to a product. It will not show me any manufacturer coupons. So it does show that this works. Another product that does show when you click on see details and show eligible products, it shows that these single eyeshadows are also working. So that would save you $4 using that coupon. That would make it 99 cents. So definitely grab a product that you need. This is an amazing deal. So this is a transaction that I'm going to be doing using a 15 off 75 purchase CRT. So total for all these products before coupons and CRTs is going to be $74.37. Now my store does follow the 98% rule. If your store doesn't, just grab whatever other product that's about a dollar value to get you over the $75 mark. Then we have $37.50 worth of digital coupons and CRTs plus the 15 off 75 CRT that's going to be coming off as well. That's going to leave me to pay $21.87 out of pocket plus taxes. Now I do have about $20 in extra bucks that I'm going to be using to lower that cost. Then I'm going to be getting back $26 in extra bucks from all of these deals. Plus I'm going to be getting $10 cash back from Ibotta. Just kidding. I'm getting $5 cash back. Sorry for the trust me from Ibotta. That's going to make $75 worth of products free and a $9 and 13 cent moneymaker. Then with the extra bucks I get from this, I'm gonna be doing the laundry deal in a second transaction so I can use my extra bucks to lower my out-of-pocket cost. That is what's most important, guys. Make sure that you are arranging your transactions the right way to use your rewards and keep your out-of-pocket costs low. That way you can make sure that you're not blowing your budget every month. So let's go check out. I'll let you guys know how everything goes and if I have any issues with coupons or CRTs. All right, let's do the giveaway. So I'm gonna be giving away a $25 CVS gift card. All you have to do to enter is number one, be a current subscriber. If you're not subscribed yet, double check and hit that red subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. Then number two, I want you to smash that like button on this video for me. And number three, I want you to put a comment below. Let me know what your favorite deal is going on this week at CVS. Those three things, that's all you need to do to be able to enter. I'm going to be announcing the winner next Sunday in my CVS haul video. So make sure you have those notification bells clicked so you can double check the video on Sunday. See if you are the lucky winner. Quick disclaimer, because scammers and spammers are out there, unfortunately. I am not going to ever ask you to pay for a giveaway. Kind of defeats the purpose and makes no sense. If anybody ever reaches out to you and you think it's my email or whatever, and they're like, hey, you won, pay me X amount, give me your address and all this kind of nonsense. Absolutely not. I don't need your address. It's a digital gift card that I will be sending to you. You never have to pay me for a giveaway, nothing like that. So I wanna give you guys that heads up and that disclaimer, but I'm gonna be showing right in my CVS video the name of the person. So if you don't see your name in my CVS video next week, it's a scam, it's not really me, and just ignore it and delete it or report it or whatever. So now let's get into the transactions that I did. I did two transactions. So my first transaction was using the 15 off 75. I actually wound up adding in um, the Maybelline baby lips as well into the transaction, um, cause may as well. So here's all the products that I grabbed. It's everything that I showed you plus the Maybelline baby lips. 
Here's the six off two Clairol paper coupon. The six off two digital did glitch. Here is the Colgate, Colgate. It is hard to read from back here. Okay, three Colgate coupons. Then the Oral Care is five off three for the Crest. Then the Crest dollar off one glitched as well. Here's the 50 cent for the toothbrush. 15 off 75, that $10 CRT, I'm so excited. And the $4 Maybelline, plus extra bucks from last week that I rolled into this week. Paid $8.47 plus taxes out of pocket. That's what I swiped my card for. That is your real cash cost, right? Because that's money coming out of your pocket. Then I submitted over to Ibotta, got $5 cash back. So this transaction, what I would write in my budget for this transaction is including taxes, right? So I'm at 1046, including taxes, minus $5 cash back. I would write in $5.46 because that's real money. I don't count extra bucks spent. I don't count extra bucks earned because it's not real money. It's like monopoly money. Yes, you can use it at CVS, but no, you can't use it to pay your bills. So that's why I like to calculate everything as far as real money. Then I did earn back all of my extra bucks. And where did it go? Here it is. My second transaction, I just did the laundry deal like I mentioned, grabbed all the products. Here's $3 for the Tide, the Downy came off, the two gain, extra bucks from my first transaction I rolled, paid nine, nope. Paid $8.96 plus taxes out of pocket. Did not get back any um, cash back to my bottom or anything like that. So that I will be writing in as my cash cost for my budget as well. Make sure you guys are tracking your budget. Guys, it is so, so important. If you don't know what you're spending, you don't know what you're saving or not saving, right? That way you can put that money towards your Christmas gifts, towards your holiday meals, which are expensive, buying the big turkeys and stuff. Though we do have the Ibotta bonuses this year again for the free turkey, for the free sides, give you a pretty much a free Thanksgiving meal, which I'm so excited about. So I only need one more deal to unlock the sides bonus. Then I'll get all the sides for free and I'll be doing that in my deal this week at Walmart. Then once I do, I think 36 rebates, it'll unlock the free turkey for me as well. So I'll share with you guys any information and updates and stuff like that on that as well but definitely make sure that you double check when you open your ibotta app it'll let you it'll pop up and show you then you can click your bonus you can pick whichever one you want to start with i chose the sides bonus because it's easier it's only 10 rebates the turkey for me was 36 so that's why i decided to do it that way if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments below don't forget to enter in the giveaway and i will see you next time